What's going on guys? It's Luke here of Simbox. This is my breakdown and prediction for this weekend's WBO Cruiserweight World Title Fight. Defending champion Lawrence O'Coley is defending his title against the undefeated David Light. In Lawrence O'Coley, he's got a record of 18 wins, no defeats, 14 wins coming by way of stoppage. He cleaned up at domestic level, beating the likes of Isaac Chamberlain, Luke Watkins, Matty Askren, before moving on to world level, beating Christoph Glowacki, Jowetsky, Ngarbu, and has looked quite dominant in recent years. He, of course, has linked up with new trainer, Stewart, uh, Sugar Hill Stewart, uh, trainer of Ben Whitaker and also WBC heavyweight world champion Tyson Fury. And David Light, he's got a record of 20 and 0. He is somewhat of a unknown quantity, he's taking a massive leap up in opposition here, taking on Lawrence Akoli, who is generally considered the number one cruiserweight on the planet. I think this is a really pivotal fight for Lawrence Akoli. He's linked up with the new trainers, as I say, in Sugar Hill Stewart. He looked revitalised under Shane McGuigan, but due to logistical reasons, that, that relationship come to an end. We've seen the the back and forth between Lawrence Acoli and former promoter Eddie Hearn. This has led to Lawrence Acoli being out of the ring for over 12 months. So this is really a pivotal fight for Lawrence Acoli. Not so much in terms of a dangerous opponent in all due respect to David Light, but in terms of where he's at in his career and needing a big statement, a big win. He's headlining the show in Manchester on the boxer card. It's looking like that he's going to be working with boxer moving forward. So this is a a really big moment for Lawrence Cole, and I believe he'll want to make a statement in this fight. We know he's got huge physical advantages. He's got the long reach. He's a very big man. Some say we'll see him move up to heavyweight in the not so distant future. He's certainly got the physical capacity for that. He will have a considerable size advantage over David Light. David Light coming in at around 6-1. And I think that's where, for me, this fight will be won and lost. I think Lawrence Coley is the bigger puncher, he's the more experienced, more rounded fighter. And if he brings in that that aggressive style of a cronk fighter with the Sugar Hill Steward influence, then that makes him an even more dangerous fighter, an even more potent threat. And I think David Light could be the fall guy for Lawrence Coley's reannouncement onto the world stage. So short and sweet with this prediction. I think Lawrence Coley goes in there, makes a statement. He will knock out David Light within four to five rounds. These He'll put his name back on the lips of all the boxing fans in the UK. He will move forward with Boxer. Hopefully look to unify against some of the other top cruiserweights in the division with the likes of uh, Badu Jack picking up a title recently and Jaya Patai who defeated Maris Bradis. There's a lot of good fights to be made there. And we've got a good crop of British cruiserweights coming up behind Lawrence Akolu with the likes of Richard Riappour, uh, Jack Massey, We've got Chris Bill and Smith, amongst others. It's a, it's a great division. Uh, Mikhail Wal as well in there. So there's potential for some great fights, but a call is above that British level, of course. He'll be looking to unify before inevitably moving up to heavyweight. And he gets that job done this weekend, as I say, inside four or five rounds. Get in those comments below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for more boxing predictions interviews on the way. Simbox is the place to be. With no YouTube boxing, strictly boxing. None of that misfits and all that kind of thing. Strictly boxing here on Simbox. At Simbox1 on Twitter, at Sim underscore box on Instagram. And I'll catch you on the next one.